Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Rifter number 10. We've already gone over the entire, we've done an overview of the entire Rifter, all the articles here. Now we're going to take a look at one of the two specific articles that I've chosen. And the first one is the Palladium Fantasy Changeling Metamorph. It's not a regular changeling. It's a much more powerful changeling, but in my opinion, it's not unbalancing to a campaign. So if you as a game master want to add this in there, you should feel free to do so. So let's take a look at it. Can also take a look at PayPal and 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 Ko-Fi. You can leave a message, a little comment for us on Ko-Fi too. And so, actually, the people who donate uh, through PayPal tend to leave comments as well. Again, I don't I don't advertise them. I I consider these folks the silent donators, and I appreciate every one of you. But uh, I do read them. I do see them. All right. Speaking of reading and seeing, here we go. The Changeling Metamorph. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Optional PCC or R psychic character class or racial character class. It depends on how you want to do it, but they're, they're all they're all psychic, and you can only be a uh, this character class if you are a metamorph. Uh, as a people, the change loops. As a people, the changeling have been hiding for millennia. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit here. There you go. Uh, certainly, they use their shape change abilities to their advantage, but in many cases, it's just a matter of survival. But some changelings, especially the young of Noah's Paradise, played in fantasy role playing book six, Island at the Edge of the World, have become fascinated with their abilities, both psionic and physical, pushing these to their limits. They have learned through practice the true grandeur of being a changeling, overcoming their bodies with their minds. They get psionic powers all metamorphs are master psionics but they don't get as many uh psionic powers as a master psychic does at first level but they get these meditation alter aura impervious to poisons and toxins that's important because all all changelings are uh, allergic to alcohol and salt for some reason resist oh, wow. fatigue and mind block auto defense and one additional power from any of the three minor categories at every odd level and a supersonic ability at levels five, nine, and fifteen. So not as much power, uh, variety-wise, as a normal master psychic. But you know they still get the two d four times ten plus me and isp, which is significant. And eight every level instead of like say ten. Enhanced shifting. The changelings who have followed this discipline have learned to push their bodies to the maximum. While the restriction against regrowing limbs and the limits of size still apply, their control of the ability is much finer than that of your average Joe Schmo changeling. This, <laughs> Joe is, a changeling. Yeah, this <laughs> is a difficult process requiring a role under the enhanced shifting skill, which is what they have. They get they get it at 20% at level one and 5% uh, per level IQ bonuses apply. Uh, while the limitations of this ability are unknown, some documented abilities are listed below. Limited immortality. Once a metamorph has reached ninth level, you have such control over your body that you can stop your body from aging. So you are ageless, which means you're never going to die of old age. You're never, go never going to experience anything to do with old age. You can still be killed, killed. But that's exceedingly harder, and we'll get to that in a second. And the bonuses, once you reach uh, ninth level for limited immortality, nope, that's not, no, it's just bonuses, period. You save versus Sonics at 10, like any Master Sonic, plus two versus Mind Control, plus four possession, and plus four for Horror Factor. But we have the enhanced shifting abilities. Again, uh, changelings can change their body shape to look like other races. A changeling could look like a human, a dwarf, an elf, whatever. There is a size limitation where you can't size yourself up to, say, a giant or anything, and you can't bring yourself down to, say, a fairy that's like this big or whatever. It's too it's too much of a mass change. But you can do all the normal humanoid type stuff. But the enhanced shifting is different. Bioregeneration. With concentration, a metamorph can actually heal his body by shifting it into a less damaged form. This allows them to heal at a tremendous rate as though each melee round of concentration was one day of treatment by a professional. Wow. Two hit points and six SDC per round for the first two rounds and then four hit points and six SDC every round after that. 
This process is as painful as normal healing can be, so a save versus pain must be made to continue. If the save is failed, the metamorph must begin again at the slower initial rate. Now, the whole save versus pain thing is so you're not like Wolverine all the time, just constantly regenerating damage as you take it. Because if every round you're healing two hit points and six SDC, and then after two rounds, it's four and six every round, and there's no limiter on that, it's going to be very, very hard to beat you because you're never going to actually die. So they put they put in the the uh, pain modifier to that. Uh, skill modification automatic aside from the save. This requires no skill roll. So uh, remember your enhance your enhanced skill rolls are are uh, twenty plus five percent per per level. Uh, this one doesn't require it. You just get it. Then we have reattach limb. This one's fun. While limbs cannot be regrown, the changeling's own recently severed limb can be reattached if attended to within one melee round per level. This wow. is painful. You got to make a pain save. Very painful. It's 16. If it fails, you have to, you don't do it. You got to do it again next round. Hopefully you don't run out of time because if you're level three, that, that's you got a pretty three. quick amount of time because you can reattach a limb that's been off your body longer than that at the hospital. Yeah, but apparently changelings can't. I mean, after a while, you just lose control of the cells you're no longer physically connected to. I, I guess that. I would have done one per minute instead of one per melee round. But I, I, at the same time, it's a pretty powerful ability. I'm not complaining. Yeah, yeah. no one else gets that stuff. So I get it. Uh, enhanced senses. By altering his sensory organs, a metamorph can increase his physical senses or change them so they perceive things differently. Each sense must be enhanced separately, but there is no skill modification. Track by smell by enhancing your nose. Recognize scent. Recognize person by scent. Tactile enhancement. Plus 10% to skills requiring delicate touch. You made your fingers slender or smaller or bigger or whatever was needed to do the thing you need to do to make it easier. Uh, oral enhancement. Can detect sounds as soft as one decibel at 75 feet. You get yourself some Dumbo ears. You just Dumbo eared <laughs> up. I mean, right now, if you're thinking, oh my God, is, is a changeling metamorph a plastic man? Right now, we're yes. He's Plastic Man. Right now. Whispers are clear at 150 feet. Conversation is 600, 360 feet. Identify sounds at 35%, plus five per level. And it provides you with plus one to prairie, plus two to dodge, and plus six to initiative. That's big. Super big. Pal initiative in Palladium is important. Uh, oral alteration. Uh, ear can also be made to hear sounds of higher or lower frequencies. You can turn yourself into a, you can turn your ear into a dog ear. So you can hear different frequencies that humans can't. You can do that too. Vision enhancement. This one each requires a separate roll. So uh, for the scent one, you roll one time and you get all the scent powers because your nose is just that much better. You get all the scent powers. This one is one per. You have to roll each time. For these, you do long range vision similar to a hawk's, recognizing a face at two miles, passive night vision, infrared vision, ultraviolet vision, polarized vision, and underwater vision. Underwater vision? What? I no, no. Everyone knows. Everyone who's opened their eyes Can underwater understands. Everything's all cloudy and nonsense. It's making my eyes water. Yeah, you can turn yourself into shark eyes. So that's great. Okay, I have one. Pro I have one problem with all of that so far. What's that? Unless I just missed it somewhere. You get all this stuff, but it doesn't say that you have a noticeable change. It like doesn't. It does, say you, yeah, I know you said like dog ears and elephant ears and so forth, but yeah, that's just the power side of it. I actually, what's the weakness of this character so far? You saw this bio regeneration. It's get you know, like. Do people hate it? Do oh they... no, we haven't we haven't gotten to the to the weaknesses yet. I mean, the, the the way Palladium OCCs work, you get all the all the OCC abilities, and then the detriments. So we're still doing abilities. We haven't gotten to detriments yet. I want to see the Dumbo ears. <laughs> well, you you can see the, the bat wings. <laughs> right. Anyway. Uh, respiration. A change of can metamorph can alter his respiratory system so he can breathe in foreign environments. Even anaerobically, which means no air at all. While this modification takes one melee, it can be maintained indefinitely, except for the anaerobic respiration, which is a limit of 15 minutes because, you know, you're you got to breathe something. 
excuse me, uh, skill modification, plus 5% to breathe water, minus 10% for everything else. So it's easier to change your lungs to, to process water than it is to process, say, sulfur. I understand that. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Extremities. One of the first things a metamorph learns is to alter his extremities as changing here as are easy as both observe, uh, observe and reverse. A truly skilled metamorph is never without a weapon or a means of transportation. And this list covers only the barest beginnings of their power. This is, these are examples in no way an exhaustive list. Webbed fingers and toes increase swimming. Flippers increase vastly increase swimming. Uh, flying squirrel-like glider membranes. You can glide now. A team. Wings replace your arms. You can now fly. Good job. Combat claws. More damage. Climbing claws. More damage. And you can climb. Okay, Digging claws. Let's say, these people need to stop. This is just somebody who wants what TMNT into the Playdom Fantasy game now. I'm Fair I'm enough. offended as a TMNT player. I'm I'm offended. <laughs> that's that's fair. That's fair. They glide now. Yeah, they 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 glide now. I, I get the Star Wars reference. Uh, digging claws, and then we have other options being explored. Includes fangs, tails, elongated the tailbone, natural armor, prehensile feet. Those above are merely the most common. A changeling is limited only by his own imagination and the inability to grow new limbs or exceed a certain size, and need to remain strictly organic. So you can give yourself natural armor. You can give yourself claws. You can give yourself all these and you can do them all as long as you can roll that, that, that body modification skill, which as we saw earlier was 20% plus 5% per level. Now, are you going to be great at it out of the gate? No, no, you're not. But a couple of levels in and you're, you're pretty effective at, at being effective. And as and long as time you're... isn't an issue, you can keep trying until you make the roll. Yeah, exactly. You can keep trying. It's great. And then we have, uh, what do we have? The, the skills. We have uh, language elf, two other languages, because all metamorphs deal with languages quite a bit because they pretend to be other races, right? Literacy, elf, biology, that helps in, uh, in changing your shape to actually become another race. Uh, well, and also math, how to understand how limbs and organs and so forth exactly, work. Exactly, yes. yes. To, to manipulate your own body, you have to understand how it works. Uh, history. Uh, one race must be the changeling uh, weapon proficiency and hand to hand basic. Hmm. I think that's yeah. Uh, what else we have uh, skills choose five at level one and one additional. These are for uh, secondary skills and stuff like that. Uh, starts with studded leather, no weapons, very little gold. Uh, they have the same as, as a mind mage, which is a very, very, uh, um, difficult uh, experience table, so you're not going to gain experience. All, you're not gain levels pretty quick, but you're you're fine. You're you're probably fine. And that is it. There is no detriment side. There's no bad side except lack of skills. changelings are hunted mm. because people fear them because they can look like other people, and and apparently they're allergic to salt and alcohol. So who would want to be one? everyone every every player character would want to be one I, but I, no i'm not giving up salt and alcohol okay <laughs> okay well you're not your character okay you got to get That's that fair. separation fair. right <laughs> all right but uh i like this one because yes changing metamorphs are powerful they can change their bodies into certain things uh, the the biggest changes re require a role that's that's in the, especially in the lower levels is you know difficult right if you don't have time to keep trying, then you may not be able to win the day, but it's not overpowered. Nothing here is overpowered. N nothing here unbalances an already existing campaign. And what I have found when you're trying to add OCCs to an existing campaign, a lot of times the game master will not really involve their brain in thinking, okay, is this going to unbalance my, the, the current setting that I have? This one won't. You can add it to almost any Palladium Fantasy campaign, and you're probably going to be okay. So I like it. I like it a lot. Would I play it again uh, instead of a human? No. <laughs> if I'm not allowed to play a human, would I play a changeling metamorph? Yeah. As a human. 
and metamorphed into a human most of the time. Sure. Yeah. All right. Do hmm. we have any uh, chat? This nope. is pretty straightforward. I don't imagine. I, there'd be no I, I don't know. I'm still debating whether I like it or not. Uh, it does have a lack of skills, but then I realized the PCC RCC skills there are in addition to, if you scroll down, yeah. so it actually yeah. doesn't have a lack of skills. No, it does not. Not really. Um, yeah, you have the, the PCC RCC skills here, and then you have PCC RCC skills again. Choose another at, five, yeah. At level one and one additional levels, three, six, nine, and 12. But, so, so yeah, I was going to say it was originally good. a lack of skills, but that isn't a lack. But that also isn't, that isn't like no. too many skills either. I think that's on. No, 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 no. I mean, you, you don't have city rat level skills or, you know, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, Rogue scholar level skills, nothing like that. But it's a good amount of skills. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm torn on whether whether I would like it or not. I think it'd be a fun NPC. I don't know if I'd want a player character to be one unless the game master played up. And I don't mean overly so where the player can't have any fun at all, but I mean just remind the player that you're playing something weird that people don't like. And unless you're doing making those pain saving uh, roles and actually taking on these forms that people aren't going to want you to be around them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, the, you, uh, with characters like changelings, you have to make the bigotry real. It has to be mm -hmm. ever, not, not maybe not ever present, but always around the corner type thing. Yes. Where you could always run into, into B Billy Joe, Bob Hill, Hillbilly nonsense, you know, where he, he just, he just wants to put on his changeling clan hood and, and just go after you. You know, that's good. That has to be a fear of your character in every town or else you're not doing it right. So as long as you're doing it right, then, well, it'll be a fun character to play. Lot, lots of nuance mm -hmm. and lots of uh, lots of opportunity for role play. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. Cool. Yeah. Well, ups, I guess uh, I'm supposed to do. Boop. There we go. Like, subscribe and share. Leave heathen dog. Not me because I don't care. Uh, a comment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, leave us a comment tell us what you think about this is there something in the rifter you want us to cover is there something that heathen dog got wrong or got exceptionally right that you didn't know about before let him know and i look forward to uh talking to everybody in next video